is the TP-Link N600 wireless dual band gigabyte ADSL2 modem and router. Um, TD W8980. Important thing here, it's got a connection for telephone lines because um, the last one I bought, I assumed it had it and it didn't. Um, but let's let's have a look. First thing I do is find out how I open it. Okay, here we go. Noticed is this wasn't a sealed box. Look, it's dusty, which means I think this one's been used before. Hey ho. Anyway, won't affect the video too much. Uh, first thing you know is you've got your three antenna spots, um, your ADSL, your telephone line, two USB connectors, your four Cat 5s or Cat 6, power on off switch plus your power connector, and you've got your WPS, which is for your Wi Fi, so you can switch that on and off because you may not want your Wi Fi on all the time. Uh, we see reset switch and a Wi-Fi switch on and off. Yeah, there's two switches. Oh, that's WPS and that's Wi-Fi. Okay. And a couple of lights to tell you which USB is running and on. That's pretty straightforward. Okay, so I've used the router now for nearly a week. I thought I'd leave it for a few days, see how we get on. Um, now, if you're logging in, I think the username and password is is admin admin or in my case is admin and my own passwords because obviously I've changed it um, first thing is the display is pretty good it tells you what your upstream and downstream is and you can see I've had some downtime here that it's gonna be on for two days uh, the reason being if you use torrents a lot this will crash out like no tomorrow it does not like torrents as a NAT issue um, so uh, <laughs> if you if you're somebody who uses torrents for things then I'd recommend getting a different router it, it doesn't like it um, one thing that I do like on this uh, let's go up here is the USB sticks they're easily accessible across the network streaming video and stuff on it no problem whatsoever it's fantastic the kids are loving it because it keeps the kids off my drive because uh, I put their cartoons on there. They can watch them without damaging or risk of damaging something else on my drive. Um, it's it's all pretty straightforward. You've got your FTP, your media server. It's not set up on here. Print server, which is switched on, but the printer is actually not connected. Um, what else can I really say about it? The networks work pretty well because um, I've got the two running here because it's got two at 300 megabytes each so it's not a true 600 megabytes if you thought it was what you've got is um, 300 megs running at 2.4 gigahertz and I think the other one's 5 gigahertz yeah there you go so you've got two channels basically 300 megabytes on each and the phone and stuff pick them up easy uh, Wi-Fi has been really stable no issues whatsoever with that the only issue I did have was actually connecting it to the phone line because um, what I was finding let's go back to the main page it would come up here this would all be completely blank and it just wouldn't pick up the line now you might find this useful maybe not I used the original router to sort of jump start it I got the, the original router going and then basically once that connected, whatever, I whipped the cable out and plugged it into the TP-Link one, and it just stays on, no problems whatsoever. Um, but if I don't do that, it just doesn't connect. I'm not sure why, um, but I just wanted to say that's <laughs> that's what I found with it so far. But beyond that, no issues. I've also updated the firmware because um, it was a recent one. Um, which you just get off the TP-Link website, download it, unzip it. Don't try and upload it onto the router with the with it already zipped up. Because if you go to System Tools, hang on. Uh, you don't have to touch time settings. It does it automatically. 
backup and restore factory there you go firmware upgrade what you do unzip it it'll ask you where the file is just browse to it and then upload it there you go it's already it's still there and that's basically it so that updated no problems and it's a pretty good router like i said the only thing is if you do torrent downloads you're going to have problems i've i've it's fine with things like the um ftps because i've been i've moved probably three gigabytes worth of stuff in the next the last few days because uh, i'm moving some servers at the moment and so there's been a lot of data that's moved around and it's had no problems whatsoever um it's, it's been pretty stable all right thanks for watching yeah.